so hi guys i am kayum and in this video we will going to see that how to delete files according to their dates so sometimes we see that uh, the dates which you want to delete the files so they are if they are large in number so we cannot do it manually so in that case we need to have some utilities or some packages to be installed on the linux machine in order to delete them uh, so uh, in general we do it using the find command like we do find dot type then uh, type then f then m time then plus one so in this way it will going to show us the files which are dated uh, which are older than one day okay so basically find command will do this and in order to delete them you can do it as well using the find type f then m time then plus m then execute remove rf then curly bracket open close so in this way uh, we can do using the find command also okay so i just want to tell you that how it uh, go, uh, gonna work i'm not exactly going to execute it it will really going to delete my files so in case uh, this find command won't work like uh, sometime it uh, works in the ubuntu oracle linux or red uh, rail but uh, sometimes it uh, doesn't work on hp hp os or say some older uh, uh, solaris so in that case we need to do it manually okay so for this i will going to use some combination of commands those are going to help us to delete the files which are older than certain dates so let me show you that uh, how many files we are having and what are their timestamps so as you can see on the screen that we are having files from the october 20 october 21 then october 22 which is of today's date so these are the files present in this folder so actually what we are going to do it <coughs> uh, so for example i want to delete the files of the october 20 and we uh, don't have find command here so how will do how will going to do it so i will show you that uh, we will going to use some combination of the commands like ls lrt then awk command for fields to be shown so basically i'm going to start from the field six so let me show you one field number one two three four five and then this is field number six so from field number six seven eight nine so in this way we will going to select uh, for from field number six so which is uh, starts uh, field number uh, six is uh, starts from october so we're going to select and start from there so till the number of fields okay the end of the line so basically this will going to select field number second uh, sixth and it will start to print all the fields ahead of it okay this will going to print the fields and this will going to uh, make the fields on the new lines uh, each line on the new line then again so let uh, me show you that how it will going to work so as you can see that we have filter out from uh, field number six to end of the line so in this way it will going to work okay so now done with it now use grip command and select for which date uh, you want to delete so i am selecting october 20 so we will going to delete october 20 right now so let me show you what it will going to give us okay so it uh, again filter out the files which are dated on october 20 okay so now we need to filter out only the file names okay so in this way uh, now let's see one two three and then four so this is this uh, uh, this is uh, field number four so this is field number four so let me again use a command so let uh, j starts from field numbers four and then it will <coughs> end of end of the line then again increment okay then print here we're going to print the strings so that's why i'm uh, taking percentage s for the string again percentage j so it will going to show us the field number four and onward so let me show you what this final this second final command will do for us okay so now you can see that from this we are getting this okay from this we are getting this we have removed all, all these fields and just we are 
land on the file name text okay so we are done with it now finally we will going to read this command read these files using this uh, let's save it in the let's save it in the files variable so basically this while command will loop all these files and using this read command we will store these files output into this files variable okay so now uh, in the do section we will going to remove these files okay so for this let's say the variable do okay and this is done so it will going to delete all the files of october 20 okay so now let me show you that yeah you can see that we have uh, successfully deleted all the files of october 20 so in this way it can be work okay